Hey guys, so we got our next release of the Nations of Hockey event. A couple big names in this one, so let's break down all of the new cards for the event. So we'll start with the two Norwegians, and we'll start with the 89 uh, Stefan Espelen, the six foot left defenseman. Uh, skating is very good at the high end at 99, 97 acceleration agility, shot power of 92, and accuracy of 84. If you are just starting out in the game or you're just trying to get acclimated, this is fantastic defenseman to go for right after the base cards and when you start you know looking into those upgrades on defense as um you know he's got the high end speed and a decent shot for you know under 90 overall not a bad card at all for someone who's just trying to start out then we've got the 89 alexander bond saxon five foot ten 183 uh, this would be just a hard avoid for me uh, on defense at under six foot speed isn't 99 it's you know in the middle 90s shot is under 90 it just yeah there's far better options for you to upgrade your team for when you're first starting out or you know when you're gradually growing it this yeah this one wouldn't be the german danny asdenberken six foot one that pretty much ends the conversation and not to mention he has a 90 overall but the 90 the 83 glove high is rough now he does have a 99 positioning which is fantastic and his aggressions at 71 but that 83 glove high it's still you know going to give you just absolute trouble with the shot totals that they've got right now up in the high 90s trying to pick a corner top shelf short side it's just yeah there's no way you can use him unfortunately after him from switzerland we've got the 90 overall uh damiano uh, Chica man, I don't know how to say this one, unfortunately. Six foot three, so he's got good height, ninety glove high, ninety-one positioning with seventy aggression. So he fits the meta build pretty well. Two to SP, two to FB, two to WC. Doesn't really do enough of anything else. I mean that there's just so many goaltenders now at this stage of the game, but he might be pretty cheap and a decent option for you. I'd still would rather have like the ninety one Mike Smith or uh, you know, the all star game Markstrom, you know, any or even the winter national marks from the eighty six overall. Then from Latvia, we've got the 91 Rudolph Balsers. I believe he was a Shark prospect at some point. 5'11", 174. Just a little small. 99 skating, though, however, and a shot power of 93, 89 accuracy. Uh, hand stats right around 90 as well. Not a bad winger card for, you know, but I, again, there's just so many options at this stage of the game. Although he does have a decent shot and good speed combo, so you could do worse if you're if you're looking to upgrade your team from winter national cards or things like that. Uh, not, a, not a bad option. I w wouldn't pay anything more than... 60 70k for him though then from russia we've got the 91 ivan barbashev six foot 185 99 skating this looks a lot like the rudolph balsers to be honest with you but he has 91 face off so um you know with six foot 91 face off you know 99 skating you you could do you could do far worse he only has 81 body checking though so he's probably going to get bodied around quite a bit um but yeah if you're Still stuck on, you know, base cards or winter national cards, things like that. This isn't a bad upgrade, but again, around 50 to, you know, 70k at most. From Denmark, we've got the 92 Franz Nielsen, 6'1", 99 skating, 90 shot. Hand stats above 90 as well, as well as awareness stats at 91, 92, and a face-off of 93. This is low-key a half-decent centerman card for you to go get, and I bet he's going to be decently cheap when you compare other 92 overalls. This is a decent buy for sure uh from this event from the czech republic we've got the 92 overall andre palat six foot and this is a little bit better version of the franz nielsen uh but obviously he doesn't he isn't a centerman so he has you're gonna have to use him on the wing but he's got good hand stats uh great speed obviously at 99 across the board over 90 shot awareness at 91 he does enough to be you know of value to you i think that you know his size kind of is a hindrance but six foot is you know kind of the cutoff so you could do worse not to mention he's got two to one t two to x and two to mp good synergy so uh gets a boost from him as well not a terrible card for you know if you're looking to upgrade for sure uh from from those base winter national cards after him we've got the 93 overall troy terry six one one eighty um a right-handed you know right-handed shot so I will say this, he's going to be a winger card with only 87 face-off, just not high enough at this stage of the game. 99 skating, uh, shot accuracy at 88, but the power at 92. Uh, and then, you know, he is quite the dangler. So 99 deking, hand-eye, passing, and puck control makes him very good. Um, and I think that that'll make his value a little bit better as you're going to be able to hang on to the puck with him quite well. You know, the stats that are lowered are kind of less important in terms of shot blocking, stick checking. Strength is only 90. His accuracy, though, being under 90 kind of sucks a little bit. Uh, and his awareness stats being at 89 aren't the best. But I think that there's some sneaky value here in the 93 overall Troy Terry. 
And from Canada, the 93 overall left defenseman Shea Theodore. Six foot two, so he's got great size, 99 skating, 95 slap shot power, but only 85 accuracy. Um, that really hurts his value because there are so many good left defensemen. Uh, he would have to take a significant chunk of you know the value off of him, you know, just based on the other 93 overall defense left defensemen. Uh, his puck control and body checking are over 90. You know, his awareness stats are 91, which is great. But that shot accuracy is kind of rough to stomach for a 93 overall left defenseman. I would look probably elsewhere at this stage of the game for a lefty. And now we're up into the bigger overalls for this release. Right now we've got the 94 overall Oli Mata, who's 6'2", 206, much like the Shea Theodore. Um, but he does have 99 skating, a little bit better accuracy at 87 with 94 slap shot power. Body checking, puck control at 92. Um, you know, awareness stats at 91. This is very close. He just has a little bit better um, slap shot accuracy. So, again, I think that there are probably better left defensemen that you can grab for the price that he's going to cost you. So, keep that in mind. Look at the accuracies because you don't, you know, you kind of want someone up there. D2D one timers being so prevalent right now in Hockey Ultimate Team, you really want to take advantage of them. And lastly, we've got the 94 Willie Nylander, six foot right handed winger card. Although he does have 97 face-offs, so that does bump up his value quite a bit. 99 skating, 93 shooting across the board. His hand stats are, you know, basically 97. Body checking is only 81, but the offensive awareness at 97 makes him a killer. And that face-off at 97 for sure bumps up his value quite a bit there. If you can use right-handed centerman, uh, again, just great value here. As you now you've got six places to put, or sorry, um, you've got, <clears throat> excuse me, eight places to put him in your lineup. Uh, two to BM, two to SP, two to X decent synergies so uh, he would be a definite buy just I have a feeling based on his name value he's going to cost quite a bit so compare him to other you know 94 90 overall uh, right centermen if you're using him on center or right wingers as his uh, slap shot or sorry his shot and speed is, is fine um, it's just uh, his awareness stat you want to be a little bit higher and that body check and you could find someone a bit bigger so guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think of this release in the comments section down below. And if you're looking for daily Hockey Ultimate Team content, please drop a subscribe on the channel. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for more Hockey Ultimate Team content.